2025 is here and we of course are going to continue creating videos for you. Also, something that never changes is we offer Windows 11 Pro retail keys. For just $12.50, purchase one today and you are good to go for the end of the year when Windows 10 is end of life. Hi everyone, if you want to go right away to the installation instructions of what I have to show today, please do so. However, um, I would say stay a while and listen because it is always good to actually know what you are doing. So yeah, the RTX 5000 series launch, how, does that, how is that going? It's been a total disaster, that's how it's going. Scalpers are feasting, retailers are becoming scalpers with charging ridiculous prices. And even if you can get one, there are sometimes issues with melting power cables or you know, uh, some GPUs are underperforming to the specs they should deliver. It's not been a great, great start for Nvidia with these new 5000, 5000 series cards. So is everything really that bad then? No, there is actually some good news finally to be told. And what's even greater, it is for the people who do not have an RTX 5000 card. What is it? It is DLSS 4. Because DLSS 4 is available on all RTX cards, so not just the RTX 5000 cards. So for the ones who have no idea yet what DLSS means, uh, let's break it down. DLSS is NVIDIA's AI power upscaling technology and it stands for deep learning super sampling. What it does is that instead of your GPU brute forcing every pixel at native resolution, DLSS renders the game at a lower resolution and uses AI to upscale the image. This means it gives you higher FPS with almost no loss in quality. In other words, DLSS makes your games look great while running faster and better FPS. And with each version, Nvidia has improved how it works. The first DLSS wasn't from 2019, but this was more of a blurry mess and it used some pre-trained AI models to upscale images, but it often made games look worse than the native resolution, like really blurry, soft, and yeah, it's the kind of version you want to forget. DLSS 2, however, in 2020 was a real game changer because it now finally introduced a really good AI-driven temporal upscaling which made images much sharper. And DLSS 2 starting to look as good as native resolution in some cases while boosting FPS. But probably the amazing uh, DLSS 3 in 2022 really introduced amazing frame generation and this created AI generated frames to almost double FPS in supported games. So huge FPS, FPS gains. The only problem was it added latency and any occasional ghosting with fast movements. And also this was only available in the RTX 4000 series GPUs. However, now DLSS 4 in 2024 introduced 2025, it's uses in example also the transformer AI models for not only giving better FPS but actually sharpening and upscaling uh, the actual image quality which is really an insane insane technique. It also has less ghosting, less motion blur and it has just better details in fast moving scenes so in example with the older models you would probably have a lot of ghosting and uh, unclear images. DLSS 4 really really is a lot better. And now it's really a miracle almost, but it works on all RTX GPUs. So the 2000, 3000, 4000 series, not only the RTX 5000 series. Um, what's the difference then between the, uh, why should you have an RTX 5000 series? The RTX 5000 series have MFG. This is multi-frame generation. This is tec a technique only for the 5000 cards, but having DLSS 4 is really, really amazing to have on any other GPUs. And it is just insane that nobody talks more about this because this is definitely something important to mention. All right, how to activate this? This part actually comes in two parts, so in two different parts. First of all, we have the officially whitelisted games by Nvidia. This is where Nvidia did allow for these games to actually already apply it just out of the box. However, for the games which don't officially support it, we can still force the new DLSS 4. And that's very handy, especially for heavy VR games like Skyrim VR, which don't uh, are not whitelisted yet. However, for newer games, usually they are now whitelisted. In example, a game uh, like Starfield or uh, Cyberpunk, uh, it has been done out of the box. So if you want to do this to a relatively new game, an example Cyberpunk, you want to click on the game, then you want to scroll down until you see this option. And you see here DLSS override model presets. 
you want to click on here and uh, probably this has been activated for you and you want to click on this drop down menu and select latest and then you can apply for me i already done it so it's not showing up then also what's really cool you can activate the super resolution 3 dlaa so normally this is default but if you press dlaa you can now activate and force dlaa for um the dlss4 which is really really amazing because this is a super super um well developed technique for dlss4 however if you want to have performance you can also do that what i understood is this performance is as good as the quality mode for dlss3 which is absolutely insane because it will give you a tremendous amount of fps gain with the same quality as dlss3 quality mode so that's really insane but i would say just test it for yourself make sure you have a good valid fps counter and see how it runs for you so that is part one of how you can activate for modern games which have been whitelisted by nvidia uh, dlss4 Things, however, can go even further, and that is by activating a script, a PowerShell script. You can uh, make sure to download it from the video description. And I also want to thank VR Dad, the YouTuber. He actually did create a video where I followed his steps to activate this. And here, you want to right-click on this PowerShell script. You want to go to Properties. I'm sorry, my OS is in Dutch, but this is you should see Properties. And you should see something with blocking and you uh, if this is activated make sure that you uh, click it to deactivate it once you've done that you can just double click on the script and it will run the powershell script you don't necessarily need to run it as admin i didn't do that and for me it did work as well then you want to make absolutely sure to reboot your pc that's very important else it will not work then once you're back here in the NVIDIA app, you want to click on this uh, three dots and click on refresh, especially for people who have issues with seeing the games or seeing that they are still unable to change settings. So refresh. And now an example for a, a, a VR game, which really, really can uh, have uh, very good benefits from uh, something like DLSS4, you can now also have the ability to override this. So, and here, make sure you select latest, click on apply if you, uh, yeah, for me, I have already done that. And also you can activate DLLA, DLAA, which is absolutely insane that you can do that forcefully with DLSS4. And that's pretty much it. There is one big heavy remark. Don't do this for multiplayer games. Official uh, multiplayer games, which are allowed, it's, it's okay, but don't use this third party app for uh, any other multiplayer games, which are not officially whitelisted because this can get you banned. So the general rule is because you can't see now which games are officially whitelisted or not, don't activate it in multiplayer games at all. Use it mostly for single player games. You should be safe for them. And also Nvidia can patch this, uh, this kind of like hack or whatever you want to call it later. So please be uh, aware that, yeah, you're in the future. Don't activate this DLSS4 for multiplayer games. And that's pretty much it. Now you have the amazing DLSS4 techniques and upscaling, sharpening uh, with your other older RTX GPU. So have fun with it and let me know how it, uh, how it run. A little bit of troubleshooting if you're still unable to see it. What I did understood is that after you, uh, yeah, you can reboot your PC again, refresh again. And if that doesn't work, you unfortunately have to reinstall the NVIDIA app, then it should work. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys in one of my next videos.